Hey guys, how's it going? And welcome back. Well, we have the Black & Decker cordless 8 volt drill. Now this one is rechargeable via USB. Okay, so they do include a cable. Now, of course, I got this thing used, by the way, at Value Village uh, for like eight bucks. And uh, it came with a little white micro USB cable. Just plugs right into the back, only goes in one direction. So no, not type C charging, right? Now they've been producing this drill since about 2015. And this one is actually dated on the bottom as such. Um, and they still make it today. And whoever bought this one, um, <laughs> Well, they didn't even put a mark on it. Um, yeah, so they probably used it once for their project and put it away and thought, mm, a couple years later, I don't need this. Why do I just still have this thing? I forgot about it. Ah, uh, we'll give it away to Value Village. We don't need it anyways, right? So anyway, um, yeah, benefit, I love it. Um, love the fact that it actually came with the cable. Not that I don't have 70 of them hanging on my wall anyway, right? But you don't get a charging block, so you don't get the actual wall art, um, you know, 120 volt to 5 volt converter charge block with it, which a lot of people did complain about on the reviews on this thing. And in one sense, I could say, yeah, I kind of agree with them. They should, in they should include the wall art, but then again, they didn't. And a lot of products do come that way. Look at all of our iPhones now. We don't get charger blocks anymore, right? Um, among other products that we buy. You get the cable at least, but that's it. I've been buying flashlights, right, that are rechargeable. Cable, no charging block, right? So, whatever. But don't plug this into your computer and try and charge it, okay? I would not recommend it. It draws 460 uh, milliamps in order to charge, which is pretty much almost the max of your Type A um, plug on your computer. So don't use your computer, okay? Just buy yourself a, a cheap $2 charger from the dollar store that's two amps. Even a one amp one will work just fine. Now, Black & Decker does say that it takes five hours and 40 minutes to charge the battery from being depleted, which I would probably say they're fairly close to that because it took probably somewhere around four hours to recharge this one. It did have a little bit of juice left in it. Um, so about four hours from not fully depleted, but fully depleted about five hours and 40 minutes. So they're probably somewhere pretty accurate on that. Okay. Now it is only 400 RPM, but it does have a crumb load of torque in this thing. I was impressed. I'm like, okay, I've had some Black & Decker tools in the past. Some were not bad. Some absolutely sucked. Never buy their palm sanders. They will explode on you either within the first hour to maybe after a couple of uses, they will just bust apart. They're garbage, okay? Stay away from Black & Decker. Go buy yourself a DeWalt or something higher quality, okay? Black & Decker does not make very good sanders, okay? But their drills, although they're not professional grade drills, some of their drills are actually half decent, actually. Um, and anything with lithium ion technology is definitely going to be a far better uh, product for a drill from them as opposed to nic nickel methyl hydrate or NICAD type um, batteries that I don't know why they still make these things like other than for double and triple A batteries. But, you know, um, for, you know, 12 volt, 18 volt drills, why? Lithium ion is the way to go. But at least it did it in this. Um, but it's not a replaceable battery, okay? Now there is a red light on here that's red. Well, while it's charging, it'll be lit red. Once it's fully charged, the light's out. So you kind of know, light's on, charging, light's out, ready to go. All right, and because this thing has a ton load of torque, it's gonna be very ideal for doing a lot of uh, screwing with screws, right? So, you know, you're taking stuff apart, you're hanging stuff up. It's compact, it's very lightweight. Even girls will love this thing, okay? I mean, and it, cause it's also very small too. And if you need to get into tight areas, this thing will get you into some very nice tight areas. If you need to get something that's a little more compact and tighter areas, there are many options out there, even on the Amazon website for all kinds of uh, cordless um, drill drivers or screw drivers that are cordless. Um, some of them can flip on different angles. Some of them are just straight out. Some of them have angle heads, whatever. Okay. There's a lot of options out there, but for this style, 
I think this is going to be a really good style for a lot of people. And like I said, very lightweight. Now, of course, there is some write-ups where, you know, some people have mentioned, even on reviews, hey, great for kids. Yeah, as long as they're supervised, don't leave them unsupervised with a power tool because <laughs> you don't know what's going to go wrong in your house, okay? So, yeah, always make sure your kids are supervised if you're going to teach them how to use power tools. And I think kids should be taught how to use tools, period. But um, anyhow... Um, it does have a brushed motor in it as well. Um, it's not brushless technology. It's a $52 drill right now on Amazon on sale. There is also a few kits other than the basic. Now the basic kit, you get a bit, you get the charge cable, which would actually be black by the way, not white. So it's not the original cable, but hey, micro USB works, who cares? All right. Um, but you get, you get the basic essentials. They do have other kits up here, so let me just you know score across here to the website. I'm gonna give you guys the link for amazon.ca. I'm a Canadian, so that's what you get. You can go on amazon.com. You can buy these in the States too, obviously. Uh, Black & Decker's everywhere. But they have a kit here where you get, you know, like different wrenches, a hammer, a knife, a carry bag, the drill, some drill bits, some nut drivers. Um, you know, that sort of thing, right? Big kit there for like 95 bucks, okay? Um, and then they've got, you know, the basic for 52 bucks. So if you don't need all the bits, just buy this for 52 bucks. Why not? You know, um, and I think they have a couple more up here too. Um, but they also have the smaller, you know, four volt uh, drill drivers. Now those things, by the way, guys, are absolutely useless things. I've had them um they're they're good if it's a very small screw that's very easy to take out the four volt drills are kind of okay for that but they're kind of really just still garbage and they're definitely like overpriced too at 44 bucks it's ridiculous um but yeah four volt i would definitely probably say not the world's best choice okay but if you're only doing super super light duty then yeah, a four volt might work for you, but eight volts and a lot of torque. And what I mean a lot of torque, okay, this thing, if I grab this with everything I got, I can't stop it. That's forward, reverse. It has an amazing amount of torque. I'm like, out of this, like, holy cow, that was impressive, right? So now it is a 10 millimeter slash 3H chuck, okay? It is a core um, keyless chuck as well, okay? So you can just open her up, put your bit in there, kind of get her set and just spin her up and away you go. And at 400 RPM, it's great for drilling with drill bits. It's great for using your screwdriver bits. Uh, nut drivers, right? So if you have something that's got like a like a socket head type thing they you know you can get nut drivers that go into this thing and because um, I use nut drivers actually quite a bit on uh, RV trailers <laughs> working on those where you know the factory used a nut driver screw in place of a Robinson or, or a Phillips right so this would be great for getting into the smaller areas or just getting some relief off my wrist and I can just you know hold it like this and, and get it out of there pretty easy it's got plenty of torque for that, okay? Now, the higher the load you put this thing under for stress load, the faster this battery is gonna, gonna depreciate its power. It only has a 1500 milliamp battery in it, okay? Uh, hence, also, five hour and 40 minute charge time is what they rate it at for. And, of course, um, it draws, like I said, about 400 and some milliamps um, for being able to charge, so, you know, it's kind of like, well, you figure that out by 1.5 milliamps. Yeah, it's pretty reasonable at 5 hours and 40 minutes to fully recharge the battery to peak, right? So, not bad. Now, you can keep the, uh, the switch in the center and lock it, okay? Or you've got forward, reverse, and like I said, you've got lock. Um, not technically a replaceable battery, okay? So, you can't just pull it out and swap another one in here. However... There is some good news here. If you really love this drill, right, and eventually one of these days, it just doesn't want to take much of a charge anymore because you've basically worn out the poor battery, 
if you're pretty good with taking stuff apart without making a disaster, so always take pictures, you could disassemble this and take the batteries out and replace the batteries because you can get batteries online. And I don't see any reason why you shouldn't be able to replace the cells that are in here. You just have to have the find the right size same cell, you know, like on Amazon or somewhere and order them and put them in and do them yourself, right? Or take it to a battery place and pay them more than what the drill costs. So I always like to do the DIY stuff myself. So this would be a drill that I would keep and um, I would eventually just replace the batteries myself because I'm technically inclined enough to do that. I've taken a lot of power tools apart, so I kind of know how these things work. And it would be very easy for me to, you know, pop a new set of batteries inside and away I go and I'm good for another however many years. However, the good news for you though, lithium ion batteries can take over a thousand charge cycles. So that's top it up, deplete it. Top it up, deplete it. You can do that easily a thousand times plus, okay? And on average, even if you're using this thing every day, that's still going to be about four years of use, roughly, three to four years, depending on how many times during the day you're recharging it. Because like I said, five hours and 40 minutes, average work day is what, about eight hours? So yeah, you're only going to get like one charge cycle in a day out of this thing. Maybe two if you're working a 12 hour shift kind of thing, right? Um, but I would use this in a professional situation for small things and getting into very cramped areas where nothing else can get in there, right? Um, but definitely around the house, um, this is going to be fantastic for assembling furniture, for maybe having to take something smaller apart. Um, you know, uh, 400 RPM, plenty enough power to drill into. I would say easily 1 16th inch thick steel. Um, I probably wouldn't want to push it to eighth inch, but you probably could do it. Aluminum is easy to drill into, so you could drill into some pretty thick aluminum if you had to. Um, and you want to keep those speeds down low when you're drilling anyways. For one, it saves you from shooting pieces everywhere, right, when you're drilling into any metal. But on the other side of the fence, it also keeps your drill bits healthier because once you exceed past 400 RPM drilling into steel at least, um, you will burn your drill bit edges out really fast, okay, even with cutting fluid. Uh, so keep that in mind, but it is definitely a pretty neat little drill for 52 bucks. Um, brand new. I'm kind of just, I got the advantage of picking it up for eight bucks and they may have used it once. Um, but for a drill that's been in production since 2015 at least, because that's the date marked on this one for manufacturing date, and they're still making it, it's obviously a really good seller, okay? There are thousands of people that are buying it. A lot of them, the biggest majority of them, are actually really liking it for their projects. And that's great because DIYers, you know, when you're working on little projects here and there, you don't need a three or 400 or an $800 drill for that. Something like this is just fantastic. It's small, it's lightweight. Throw it in a drawer when you're done kind of thing, right? But always top up the battery before you store it. Good plan, okay? Um, lithium ion batteries can hold a charge according to the world of physics for up to 18 to 24 months, which is actually a load of garbage. It's more realistic to having a really good solid charge left, uh, probably anywhere between six to 10 months. Okay, depending on the quality grade of the lithium ion battery, which that's something we don't know about the quality grade, but it does seem to be pretty good for handling you know the amount of juice that it's supplying into this little brushed motor i can't stop that with my hands that's really good torque okay and you're not going to be overloading the drill with that kind of extreme torque ever um well at least not you shouldn't be anyways okay i mean some people will try it anyways just if they can burn out their drill but you know average people they'll never use that kind of torque that this thing can supply which is quite quite a good amount of torque so that actually impressed me because i'm not usually a black and decker main fan some of their tools i like but their sanders don't ever buy them they are all garbage they explode <laughs> okay um just not a very good product from black and decker but some of their cordless drills I've had them, they're really good. They work really well for a lot of different things, okay? But they are not pro level grade tools, okay? That is something that they are not. 
but it doesn't mean you can't use them in your job for doing lighter duty tasks. And something like this, I would use in my job for lighter duty stuff and in areas where I just can't get in there with my Bosch drill or my rigid drill because they're too freaking big. This is something that for me would be more of an idealistic thing. Um, and yeah, at least I didn't have to pay 52 bucks for it, so I'm kind of happy there. But knowing what I know about this drill now, if I was to have to go out and buy a new one, say I burned out the motor, because I'd never try replacing that, um, then yeah, I would definitely go out and buy this and because I think it's a really neat drill, works really well, and it's definitely worth the 52 bucks, okay? Um, and I like the compactness of it too, right? And I don't have to worry about swapping out batteries, just put on the charger. And for how often I'm gonna use this and how often I would need to recharge it, I might recharge this thing like maybe once a month, right? Because I know what I'm going to be using it for. I know pre pretty close to what it's going to be like, you know, as far as run times and whatnot. So yeah, I, I think for, for my usage, this is definitely going to be really good and great for around the house too. If I need to do something, I can just grab this instead of, you know, grabbing my drills from the shop and, you know, which is overkill for anything I would do in here anyways, right? So yeah, definitely a good buy, I think. Now, as far as the 4.6 average star rating that's on Amazon, okay, there are a lot of people that think everything is the greatest thing on earth and you're gonna see a lot of five star ratings, which is, is absolutely just ignore, but read anyways, just to see what they're using it for. Like one guy's doing Ikea furniture. He loves Ikea furniture. Says this drill is fantastic for that. Okay, I agree. If that's what you're doing and it's working for you, Fantastic. Thank you for letting us know because a lot of furniture we buy, we have to do some assembly work and that would work, right? So this works good for that. Um, and there's many other people up there in different use scenarios and so on and so on. And a lot of people that crabbed about not getting an actual USB charging block. It's like they gave us the cable, but not the block. You can buy a block at the dollar store for $2. So, you know, hey, you know, but anyways, um, Overall, I would say my thinking and feeling on this thing, um, I would say probably a good solid four out of five is what I would actually put this at. But keeping in mind all that we've talked about and mentions of uses and things you probably shouldn't do, okay? And that's putting it under severe heavy load all the time because I'll just burn it up anyhow. Um, so yeah, that, that's kind of where I'm at with that, guys. Um, but do check the link below. It's going to be the Amazon.ca link. Um, and it'll just bring up all the Black & Decker stuff, and they got a few other drills up here. Um, but um, you'll be able to find this one really easily. It's 5202 on sale, regular 5630. That's in Canada. In the U.S., of course, you can go to Amazon.com and, you know, search out this same drill. Um, the part number is here, so if you clicked on the $52 drill like this, this one, um, you're going to find that there's uh, a model number here, BDCD8C. Um, eight volt max lithium drill block and decker boom just copy paste that into your search and where you go to your dot com website okay anyways that is all we got for you guys today um hopefully you enjoyed the video a bit and um we'll definitely see you guys on the next one okay how's that sound all right so see ya